everybody, it's David. Welcome to Inspiration for Cards. Um, I hope you all had a very nice Christmas because when I'm filming this, it's the day after... No, it's not the day after Christmas, it's the 27th of December and I think that's also going to be the date that I post it. So I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and stayed safe and warm when you're in the US because that looked very cold, very cold indeed. Um, I'm going to make a card today and it's not a Christmas card. Um, in a way, I'm happy to be back to sort of normal. Um, it's going to be a wintry card, but I love it. And uh, what I want to do is make a very simple and clean card. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to color using colored pencils uh, and I'm going to use some Gamsol. So let's switch the cameras around so that we can see what, I'm, what I've got on my desk. I've got uh, this stamp set. It's from Elizabeth Craft Designs. I'm not sure it's still available. Um, I don't have a number on this. It's just got the name Birthday. I think it's called Birthday. Um, but it's from Elizabeth Craft Designs. That's the one I'm using. I'm using my Chromaflow pencils. Um, I've got a white gel pen. I've got my uh, thingy to clean my... What do you call this? Blending stump, I think. And I've got my Gamsol. And I'm going to stamp using this beautiful stamp from this set that's called Peace. And the stamp set is actually called Peace as well. It's a CS237. Now, if, if you don't have these yet and you want to get your hands on them, go and grab it now because it's on sale for a very good price. So don't miss out on that if you, if you want it. Um, so I've got my stamp on my block already. And I'm going to use my trusted Versafine Claire and ink that up. Now I'm going to give that a good layer of ink because, well, I'm going to stamp on Craft and Gra Craft seems to absorb the ink very quickly. And this, there's quite a lot of detail on this stamp. So I want to have a fairly good layer of ink on there. Like so. And then I'm just going to see where I want that. I want it slightly off to the side. There we go. So I've got a piece of craft that is 12 by 17 centimeters. Then I've got my black matte layer that is 12 and a half by 17 and a half. And then I've got my card base here, which is uh, 13 by 18 centimeters. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to color this in. Not completely, I'm just going to give it some color at some stages, some places. Um, and I'm going to blend that out using Gamsol. Um, and I like using Gamsol because it blends really nicely. Uh, now in this case it's not going to be very much of coloring. Um, but yeah, I do like the fact that it's... Uh, you can blend it out. That makes it a lot easier for me. So I'm just going to put a good layer of that pigment fairly on there. Then I'm going to use the red one and I'm going to come in and color that the top of this birdie. And I'm just going to go, oops, I hate that when that happens. Just gonna go around where I want the color to be. I want this part to be red. I want this tail to be red. And I want all these berries to be red. I'm just going to scribble some of that color on there. This color, which is also sort of a reddish color, but I'm going to color that branch. Not completely, just some darker areas. I just don't want that to be completely the craft color, but craft color will be showing through everything fairly. So. And his feet. I think that's everything, except for a bit of orange on his beak. 
There we go. So that's all the coloring done. Quick, right? Quick and easy. Then I'm going to take my blending stump. I'm just going to clean that off, making sure that I don't have another color on there because I'm going to start with the yellow. And I'm going to let this stump suck up that gamsol. Now, that's what I understood. I'm not an expert, but from what I understood is that that's important that you give it time to soak up the gamsol because um, then you don't have to constantly go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, who am I to disagree? So, that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to start with that yellow. And I'm just going to activate that pigment and blend that out a bit. Now, it doesn't look like much now, um, but it will be fine. Just trust the process. So that's that, and then with what's left of my Gamsol, I'm just gonna, there we go. That's the beak done. Now I'm coming back with the other side of the Gamsol, or the blending stump. Gonna put some Gamsol in there, and color the bird. So it's a quick way of coloring, but I like it. Um, so I'm going to activate that ink just blend that out fairly activate the pigment using that gamsol and then blend that out and again it doesn't look like much but wait until it dries then it looks really nice. It takes some time to dry, not too long, but it takes some time to dry. And then you will see the full result. So, I'm going to do the berries. Just pick up some more of that gamsol. And just quickly scribble on these berries. And what this gamsol does, it liquefies the waxes or the oils in the pencil allowing you to blend them out and on craft it looks a lot browner because it's wet on the craft paper so it, it's yeah it looks different um, but Trust me, it'll be fine. So that is all the blending done. And even now that it's wet, you can see that it's nicely blended out. Um, but I will do one more thing before we continue. And that is I put some of my white ink on here. And splatter. Now I'm just going to cover him up a bit because I don't want that to be completely covered by the white. I do want that white splatter on there. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. Well, I've prepared one. You see the difference? This one's dry. This one has some more drying time to do. So I'm going to continue working with this one. I did the exact same technique. Um, and that is one that's already finished. So all that's left is to put on the sentiment. So I'm going to get my Misty out because I don't want to ruin it at this stage. 
you can imagine. So I'm going to put this into my MISTI. Put that in the corner. Put this one to the side, don't need that anymore. Get my sentiment. Happy birthday. I want that to be at the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to ink that up using Versafine Claire. And it already stamped pretty nicely, but I do want it a bit more intense. So I'm going to do that one more time and then it should be fine. So that is ready to be mounted onto my card panel. And I want to do that using some glue because, well, I can't glue straight. And if I would do that now, it would be on crooked. So I'm just going to put on some glue on the back of this. And position that onto my black card base. I have to pick that up a bit and then I can slide it around so it fits on there perfectly. Beautiful. So put some glue on the back again. Get my card base out. And position that and fairly do the same again. So maneuver it in place because there's a very small border around. But I love this. And there's my finished card result. Simple and easy, beautiful, beautiful color. Look at the fade of the, the red into the craft. Yeah, I love that. Um, so I hope you liked this too. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Um, I love this one and uh, yeah, I'm going to make uh, some more cards like this in the future. Uh, I like that, blending with Gamsol. I hope you liked it too. Thank you for watching this one and I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you. Bye.